This segment of Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Deer nutrition is all we do. And by S4 Gear, meeting the demands of nature and those who tame it. Last week on Rack Focus, we barely scratched the surface on the gun control debate. This week, we continue with that important conversation. We as gun owners and hunters and, and, and whatnot, we have got to think this thing through because they, they are attacking the Second Amendment. They look for these opportunities. And, and we're just, the war's just getting started. I mean, they're not going away. Just because they didn't win this first round doesn't mean they're not gonna be coming back. We talk about this, and we talk about it, and we walk out of this room, and we, as we're driving home, we'll recall some of these conversations. But how can we replicate? How can we duplicate what happened in, in Harrisburg to get these people to, to, to bond together. Uh, it, it's, it's so frustrating because it takes uh, a sense of urgency, almost a catastrophe to, to whip us going, gun owners into shape. And what I mean by that is the, the antis are finding out what a force we are. Uh, and they're creating, they're creating uh, a, a greater force of gun owners out there. There's a, a huge leap in NRA membership because of this. There's a, a, a huge increase in firearm sales of individuals who have never owned a firearm before. And so the antis don't realize what, what, what they're creating here. But sadly enough, it takes something like that to get us gun owners off our dead rear ends and come together. And I don't know how you do that on a regular basis. It's, it takes energy, it takes time, it takes a, a, a lot. And, and in this world where everybody is so busy trying to make a living and doing their own thing and raising families and this and that, it, it's, it's hard to stay focused. But if you look on the other side, the antis are very focused and, and, and they understand and, and, and they're very well funded. Um, and they got one thing going for them. They own the media. If you own the media, you own the world, okay? It's a miracle that we have held on to what we have, battling the media and the forces out there because those are powerful, powerful forces. If owning firearms and doing what we do and, and loving what we do wasn't the right thing, we'd have been in history a long time ago. But, but it is right, and, it, and the Second Amendment is right, and all those things are, are correct systems. And, and, and so we still exist. But I'm here to tell you, if, if we don't come together more often and stay united, we're gonna lose everything we have. Take part in the discussion and hear the whole unedited version at facebook.com slash scentblockermostwanted. After a whole day battling the elements, our boys in Colorado woke up to a still morning. Good job, brother. Yes! <laughs> First help. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a nice that pull. That was awesome. Nice pull. He came up over the bank, and I don't know if you guys could see him. I did. I saw him when he... But he came up over the bank, and he's looking straight at me there at the truck. I'm looking at you guys. I'm thinking, you must not see him, because he's standing there just as big as can be. And then when you... He actually turned to go. And then you cow called, and he just wheeled around and came right in, and then boom, you hit him.
Well, that bull is outstanding. He's over, he's going to score over 300 bulls. So. That's on the Like the basis. That's on the other. Yeah, but look how beautiful he is. The best thing about this is we have an elk here and we have a Ford F-150 right here. <laughs> and a lot of our hunts for elk, Doug, the, the only thing I regret is you're not on one of these where we're going to pack him out in six pieces, I'm like three, four, five trips up and down Thresher's train. This is spoiling you. This is not yeah. true elk hunting in its, in its hey, sense. The logistics of elk hunting is always the same. It's the distance from the elk to the truck. Exactly. Here, the distance is really short. You're really short. Send Blocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by IQ. Center the dot for the perfect shot. Block history's toughest target. And by Glenn Dell, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Send Blocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by Winchester Rifles and Shotguns. Trust your hunt to a Winchester. Easton, expect the best. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. The Redemption Muzzle Loader from LHR Sporting Arms. Made for a lifetime, not for a season. And by Gilbris Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Scent Blocker Most Wanted. None of our hunts would be possible without a lot of help and coordination from all of the outfitters, landowners, and guides that we work with throughout the year. Five days of hunting and engaging with the locals has left Larry empty-handed in Alberta. So he and Ben decided to hit their first bait site, a stand where they had seen more mature, bigger bears just days before. And within minutes, they had bears coming in. In no time, we, we were seeing bears. And I told Ben, grab your bow, man. Let's try and get your second bear. I mean, this was his first bear hunting experience and he was loving it. And it meant more to me for him to get his second bear than me to get a bear. Rage is the machine. This thing puts a hole in them and it'll squirt the blood a mile long. Don't go far when you shoot the rage. With several hours of daylight and still a tag to fill, the guys jumped back in the stand to see if they could send Larry home with a bear of his own. So you gotta remember, I'm trying to hunt and film which is not easy. So I get the camera positioned where the bears are gonna come out. And after a little while, one that I decided to shoot since it's towards the end of the hunt is headed our way. Hey, it worked out good. He walked right in the frame. I was able to pull back and make a good shot. Ah. So in one evening, in not much long of a time period, we've got two bears down. We all know that white-tailed deer are the number one most hunted big game animal in North America. But black bears are the number two. I tell you, this is the first animal that I've taken with the new Rage Hypodermic and the Matthews Chill Bow. They're both on their maiden voyage with me this week and are performing admirably. There are more black bears hunted every year than mule deer, elk, bighorn sheep, bison, mountain goats, put them all together. Black bears are number two. And there's reasons why. There are two seasons sport. In many areas, you can hunt bear spring and fall. Some areas, you can only hunt them in the spring or in the fall. But there's some place every spring and fall that you can be hunting bears, and they're plentiful in most of North America. Hey, if you're an avid bear hunter or somebody that's just joining the ranks of bear hunters, you want to go on an outstanding spring hunt in an area where you can kill two bears if they're very plentiful and there's like a 40% chance that you'll see a colored phase bear, 
I gotta tell you, this is the place. I've bear hunted all over North America, and as far as a spring hunt goes, I've never been in a better place. Ranchland Outfitters. Now, if you didn't know, we were staying in a tent camp way out in the middle of nowhere. But I gotta tell you, Rob, his mom, his sister, and his help made us feel like we were staying in a five-star hotel. The tents were warm, clean, comfortable. The food was outstanding. You know, we had all the comforts at home. And also, Rob also offers unbelievable whitetail, mule deer, and waterfowl hunting you will not believe. So he's got it all covered up there in Northeast Alberta. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed today's show. I'm Larry Woodward from all of us here at Scent Blockers Most Wanted. We hope to see you here next week.